Hello, St. Paul's. We continue looking at some of Grant's favorite passages and verses in our devotional today. Today, looking at Zephaniah 3, verse 17. Now, I had a quick look at this verse back uh, when I was looking at the Minor Prophets, as we did a series through the Minor Prophets. But today, I just want to settle in this one verse for just a few moments and just let the truth of it wash over us. So just listen to what this verse is saying and hear the Lord speaking to you in it and through it. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. Wow. I remember preaching this in the church at Fairview in Vancouver, and afterwards one of the elders came to me following the service and said, Grant, nobody has ever said this to me before. I've always thought about having to try and please God, trying to appease God. But this morning you told me that he is pleased with me and that he rejoices over me. And there's great truth in that. Now, this does not deny all of those other parts of the Bible that, that in which God calls us to responsibility. God calls us to obedience. God calls us to faithfulness. That's all still there, but this is part of that. And let's break it down quickly for just a moment. The Lord your God is with you. He is with you. Not some of the times, but all of the time. He is with you while you're sleeping. He is with you no matter what you are doing. He is with you wherever you go. The Lord your God is with you. He doesn't leave you or forsake you. He doesn't forget about you or deny you. But he is with you. And he's the mighty warrior who saves. And in Jesus, he saves you. When you accept Jesus as Savior and Lord, when you accept God's gift of grace in Jesus for salvation, he saves you. There's no question about that. There's no ifs and or buts. He saves you when we receive Jesus as our Savior. He saves you. He will take great delight in you. This is the one that blows the doors off for some people because we tend to think of God as being angry a God that is, it's hard to please. That no matter how good we are, still we have to confess our sins, so still we have fallen short, so somehow God must be displeased with us. But this verse is telling us that he takes great delight in us, in part because we are his creation. But when we are his people in Jesus, he takes great delight in us because we are his children. Even when our children are not perfect, and they aren't, we delight in them, and God delights in us. Certainly, we make him sorrowful at times with things that we do and say, with attitudes that we hold, but he delights in us. And in his love, which is profound, his love that, that brought him to the point of offering himself in sacrifice on the cross in Jesus, that's the depth of his love for you and for me. That in that incredible love, he will no longer rebuke you. Again, we, we have that sense of God being angry and just ready to tell us off at a moment's notice. There's almost the image of the old man sitting in a big chair with his hand just over the button, ready to push it any time that we do something wrong. But in his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. And my mind goes in a variety of different directions with that one. Sometimes I think of, I have the image of a mother leaning over a baby in the crib who's asleep and she's singing a lullaby. And I think at times that's the joy that God has for us as, as if he's singing a lullaby over us. But I also have the image of, of something like the Olympics where there is achievement and victory and great things happening and there is, there's an anthem that rises up 
uh, in, in the medals that are given out. And, and so I think sometimes like that, that, that when we have those victories in Jesus, when we are faithful, that, that God rejoices over us with loud voice, with an anthem that proclaims his love for us, that proclaims that he is with us, proclaims that he doesn't want to rebuke us, proclaims that he is joyful in who we are, who we are in him. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. Let's pray together. Our loving God, we thank you for this verse and the truth of it. We thank you for your presence with us. We thank you that you save us in Jesus. We thank you that you delight in us. Uh, even when we have a hard time doing that ourselves sometimes, that you love us and you, you desire not to rebuke us, but you rejoice over us with singing. Lord, we thank you for that incredible image and the truth of that. Help us to remember that. When, when we are feeling low, when we are feeling down, when we are feeling empty, when we are feeling angry, when we are feeling broken, Lord, help us, help us to know the truth of this verse for us. We pray this, Lord, for your glory in thanksgiving and in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you.